Hey everybody, it's Fizzy Little Bee. Welcome back to my channel. The cow has escaped the pasture. <laughs> Breezy has lost her damn mind and she expects all of us to feel sorry for her. Well, I'm showing you these screenshots because as we know, two years ago, Foodie Beauty brought up Breezy's daughter and Breezy didn't like it. And so she said, okay, I'm finally, I'm done reacting to all these people who drag my daughter into stuff because it's not okay. I think she forgot who she was or what she said or what her values were or what her priorities were, or she's just being a phony for the millionth time. I don't know which it is, but I do have a breakdown of her streams from the last few days. I have not clipped them because I don't want her fucking voice on my channel. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of what she's been up to the last few days. Let's get started. So what you're looking at right now is a tweet from Just Breezin on December 31st, 2022. She says, I won't be covering any of the people who are dra dragging my child into this anymore. I will be reacting to other people and making my own content. Reacting to certain people is just not worth it anymore. I also haven't been posting my daughter and won't post her on my channel again. Mind you, she did after that. The next uh, tweet was on the same day, and it was in response to that. She was just continuing on, I think. She says, I will still be reacting and making content. I will just won't be covering them while I handle taking a stand for my daughter. Breezy, did you forget? Did you forget what was important or is she less important now? That's my question. I don't understand. I don't get why you feel the need to poke at these mentally ill people. It's really sick and really pathetic. I know it's hard to believe, but Breezy is still holding onto a grudge against Jessica Mesca. And she is very, very jealous that Jessica Mesca has been doing such in-depth coverage of Naked and Laughing and King Cobra JFS. She's been getting a lot of views. She gets a lot of live viewers. People are really engaged with her content and they're really enjoying her content. Breezy fucking hates this. She's like a big audience for Breezy is 150 viewers. Meanwhile, Jessica Mesca has got a thousand in her chat. So... She continually is talking shit on every stream about Jessica Messica and how, oh, she shows other people's nudes. What did you do, Breezy? You showed other people's nudes too, and you claimed they were someone that they weren't. A big part of the problem that Breezy will not acknowledge is she keeps saying, I'm just covering now. Like, what's wrong with covering her? No, you're not covering her. You are trying daily to provoke this woman, this mentally ill unstable woman who is on whatever substances she is on and you know it you know she's a lunatic and you keep poking her what do you expect to happen breezy do you did you really 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 forget already about what happened with little mama did you you're gonna feel real damn bad if something happens to her you continually put your child in harm's way and then want to cry foul when anyone says anything regarding her but that's the first thing you'll run to is I'm a mother guess what lots of us are most of us don't use it as some sort of shield I, I know Breezy's like trying to rebrand or whatever it is but girl good luck I don't think you understand that your sub count is going up so high because everyone knows you are the new cow most of us we don't mess with our cows you know we don't interfere we don't talk to them we don't try to get with their boyfriends we don't even joke about it I know you want to say it was a joke but you were real damn serious and you're still saying as of yesterday still saying oh yeah I'll take Josh Josh told me he loved me last night you know goddamn well that man did not even talk to you not ever once but you're trying to push a mentally ill woman. Do you realize how sick in the head this makes you look? Like, for real, for real. You claim to be mentally well. Ma'am, I think you need to go get some therapy. Breezy is also trying to rewrite history for her new subscribers about what happened with Gorlick Bread. So I'm sure the gaining ground will be going over that in his future videos on her. 
I already have the videos on my channel. If anyone wants to look, I have an entire playlist called um, Just Breeze In Today, the new lol newest baby lol cow. Although that was started a little over a year ago. So she's she's not a calf anymore. She's fully grown. She's ready. She's ready to hit the pasture. And she is doing a great job of it. Because everybody, everybody is like, you know what? You, you kind of asked for this. No one wants to see any children involved in online beef. But Breezy, you go after everyone else's closest person, don't you? You go after people's boyfriends, people's husbands, people's anybody. But if anyone says one word about you being a mother, oh, all of the sudden they're attacking your child, right? You tried to silence people with blackmail. You're gross. You have literally doxxed my husband because I cover you. You're lucky I don't go to the same lows that you go to. I would never ever dox your baby daddy, even though I know exactly who the fuck it is. You have got down in the mud with naked and laughing like the cow you are. And now I'm going to be the announcer on the side, announcing to the whole world the next moves on your fucking mud wrestling with a mentally ill woman on the internet. People are cheering you on, you dumbass, because they want to see the drama. They don't give a fuck about you. And if you think they do, you're still as naive as you always have been. And you deserve what's coming to you. Breezy actually called Marty her husband, which I thought was hilarious. And she's thirsting for him again. I don't know if M Music Biz Marty is still with his girlfriend or not. I know that she's watched my channel before. If you'd like to comment, you know who you are and let me know if you're still together or not. Breezy is not willing to share Marty. She will share King Cobra, she says, <laughs> but she will not share Marty with anyone. Breezy claims to not have a type. However, <laughs> look at Gorlick Bread, look at Music Biz Marty. Um, she's got a type. Her type, though, now seems to be anyone else's man. It, anyone who is not single is definitely Breezy's type. <laughs> so in case anyone has any questions left about Breezy's sanity, she's not sane. She is poking and poking and poking at Naked and Laughing. And again, Breezy, don't forget little mama. Don't forget what happened because I can almost guarantee this is not going to end well. Think about what you're doing and, and what you're putting before your own child. This little bit of YouTube coin. You know how easy it is to work a 9 to 5 job? It's very simple and it's very, very, very fulfilling. You should try it. This is stupid. If this was a 21-year-old mother, I would be like, yo, she needs guidance. This is a 41-year-old mother. She knows exactly what the hell she's doing. Get it together, Breezy. Everyone else, stay tuned. I'll have more updates coming soon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you want to become a honeybee, it's $2.99 a month. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching, guys. Busy little bee, I will have to congratulate you and thank you on this coverage of the story that nobody ever wants to hear. That's about Breezy, uh, breezy and uh, Garlic Bread. I am all over anytime you drop some content. <laughs>